Look, I always thought MVP was one of the most underrated performers of the Ruthless Aggression era. I loved his work in TNA, but I also just want to point this out. The man is single-handedly saving the role of manager in WWE. Like, other than him, Paul Heyman was the only guy still trying to run that gig. Good on you, MVP. Good on you. MVP is not one of my favorite performers, but he's someone who is like a weird safety blanket for me, as I've come to realize, because the two times in my life I was the biggest wrestling fan was when I was a child, so during the Ruthless Aggression era and during the early parts of the PG era, and then later, well, basically 2016 onwards, um, I fell off probably around 2012-ish, and didn't get back in until AJ Styles won the championship, um, and... During that time, I saw MVP during his early days, where he was one of the best performers on the roster, and I loved his feud with Matt Hardy. And then, like, when I was getting back in and was learning about all the other companies like TNA, who was there? Who was there with the Hurt Business? Who was there with Bobby Lashley? It was MVP. So, it's weird that the two times that I was getting into wrestling, both times I got to see different sides of this amazing, very versatile performer. And as much as I do love him as a wrestler, because he was a great wrestler, he's such a good manager. He looks so good in a suit, he speaks so well, he brings such gravitas to everything. He's perfect, and I love that he's still in that role. From Mattel's WWE Basic line, this is MVP specifically in his suit, as you typically saw him on Raw when he was under Bobby Lashley in the Hurt Business, and as you see him now, typically when he's with Omos. Um, gotta say, it's good look. Um, granted, the suit, just because it's a basic body, does look a bit kind of poofy, but even in this figure form, it's just a good look for a guy. Take a closer look, and that is the head that came with the recent uh, Elite MVP, that was the Ring Gear MVP. Um, Still looks great, it's a little less painted, and there's an unfortunate black smudge right there on the forehead, but um, overall, it looks just like the guy, I'm really impressed, and then I love the tie and the shirt, jacket looks great. Um, as I said earlier, I don't like how it poofs out this much, but then again, when you have like such a well-defined body, I assume a suit would look a little bit poofy on you, but it looks good, it looks great. Um, and then I do like the necklace, and as you can see, it says THB, the Hurt Business. So. It's not you know, like the best accessory in the world, but the fact that he has an accessory at all and is a basic is actually a little bit of bang for your buck. Him being a basic, you don't have the best articulation, just universal in the shoulder. Then you have elbow, wrist, outwards here at the hip, knee, and a ball joint at the head. But still, you can work with that. What can I say? He looks great.